Yeah, we have some wonderful damsons, but a lot of these are not ripe and ready yet. So, I pick up the ones off the floor. I've already done this, by the way, but yeah, I give it a shake and pick up any more. Then the ones that are slightly higher, I have a wonderful banding net. And look, you can just reach up and grab. Well, once again, I've already grabbed a load of these. <laughs> it is in there. Here we have all the damsons that we picked earlier in the churchyard, including using the banding net. It's a lovely little trick for picking fruit from trees that you can't quite reach. And here I have a nice knife. I've rinsed all these. We need to uh, take the stone out of every single one, so I tend to carefully cut along the, uh, the line there. Reach it in. And then just take it out. There's quite a few here to be done, so I guess this is going to be a fast forward sequence, but it won't be for me, sadly. to make this wine again however good it tastes I'm gonna go wash my hands now nice and clean um, apparently you need to remove the stones because otherwise it can be very bitter but one year I think I'm gonna have a go for myself at what it's like leaving the stones in simply because that is a ball ache anyway one full bag of any sugar you fancy Boiling water to melt the sugar. I'll be wanting more of that boiling water, but for now, it's just give it a stir. But basically, yes. That is about that for now. So I'll be putting more boiling water in up to about there, waiting for it to cool down below about 30 degrees C so that then I can add the yeast without it dying a horrible death straight away. Uh, give it one more stir. I will leave it in this bucket for about a week. Um, strain off all of this uh, lovely fruit out of which hopefully most of the flavor will have, and color will have come and uh, then put it through the normal demijohn racking process before bottling. Um, I'll probably come back to you in about a year, year and a half's time and let you know how this tastes. Goodbye.